What up? Welcome back to another episode of the Western Wednesdays. Your favorite shoe reviewer. This week, doing a shoe review on BAM! Actually, a cleat review if you want to really get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, the Air Jordan 11 TD football cleats. Banging, man. Sick. Check those out real quick. Boom. Okay. But first off, I just want to make sure that I let you guys know, man, thank you for continuing to stay tuned and watching my videos. Okay. Even though I was on my little hiatus, man, me and my fiance have been really focused on our time and energy uh, to our upcoming wedding. So a lot of planning has been going on. So we've been really busy with that. But man, I really do thank you guys for continuing to watch the videos, man. But stay tuned because I'm going to have some videos coming your way. Okay. And I know people have been wanting me to continue to do those shoe reviews. So I got you, okay? Secondly, man, before I get into this shoe review, I just want to let you guys know a little bit about me, and this is why I kind of I'm doing this cleat review, okay? I, I mean, I've been, football's been a huge, huge part of my life, okay, man? I started playing football in eighth grade, um, continued into high school, played, you know, four years of high school, and then I even continued my football uh, into college, okay? I got a scholarship, played four years of college, I uh, was an All-American, um, even played in the East-West Shrine game, so I was, you know, I was able to continue that, play some uh, against some really good top elite All-Stars in college. Uh, I didn't end up getting drafted or, uh, to the NFL, but I still continued my playing uh, with the, in the arena, in arena football, uh, and then till now I end up, now I'm coaching uh, at the high school level, so uh, it's a real quick you know, obviously overview of, you know, what I've been a part of, but I've been doing it for over 20 years. So, I mean, it's been a huge part of my life. So, uh, I felt like this would be a good shoe review just to tell you guys a little bit what I thought about cleats. Um, I've worn, a, you know, tons of different style of cleats. I wanted to give you guys, a, you know, my opinion on what I thought about this shoe. So, let's get into it, boy. Okay, first off, initially, boom, right off the bat, the look, okay? They tailor made the look to look like the Air Jordan 11, the patent leathers, man, the famous boom hitters that you see on the hardwood, okay? Now, I initially saw these, I mean, this was a couple years ago on the field. I think Des Bryant was the first one that I saw have these uh, on uh, in, in football, you know, when he played for Dallas, okay? So uh, when you're watching it from the TV, you're like, man, what kind of shoe is that? It's got a little, you know, obviously a shine to it. You, so, you know, you can't really tell. I mean, initially you're like, man, it kind of looks like the patent leathers, but I can't really tell. And then when they finally zoom in on it, you're like, what? He's wearing patent leathers? That right there, when they decided to make the transition of giving you some looks from the basketball court to the football field, dope, man. I think that's such a clever idea. Uh, and, and what better shoe to do it with, the, you know, the 11s, the patent leathers, man. So, like I said, they made the look, okay, if we're starting from the top to bottom, I mean, I haven't... I've worn them, but I haven't done any type of performance with these things, which I'm looking forward to actually giving you guys a video on how I feel like performance-wise they, they perform you guys on the football field. Just initially wearing them, I'll get to that in a second. But the, the exact look of the shoe is, is dead on, okay? The only difference is it's a little bit lower cut than the, than the actual patent leathers on the court, obviously for obvious reasons. Uh, sorry, for obvious reasons. Uh, they kept it a little bit lower. Um, the styling cues are exactly the same too, uh, with the patent leather all the way around. Uh, the eyelids, exactly the same stitching material. Okay, it's a little synthetic material, but if, if you've had a patent leather uh, basketball shoe, I mean, it's dead on. Okay, I actually had the all blacks with red. Okay, so this is real, real close to what it looks like. Uh, even the styling cues that they have with like the Jumpman Jordan on the tongue, and then the actual styling cues on the heel, okay, are exactly the same which is cool. One thing I really do like about this shoe here, okay, and I think it's a little different. I, I can't really remember the laces being as thick uh, as they are on these shoes right here, uh, but it makes sense because obviously with football, I mean, I, I've had numerous times where I've had my shoe stepped on in a game and the cleat just, it, I mean, from somebody's cleat and it just tears the, the shoestring. So uh, they made a little bit more durable, thicker, uh, shoestring for this for like I said obvious reasons to help you know with durability make it last longer because those things like I said I mean when you're in the game man you're getting stepped on and stuff like that it's very easy for that to tear okay uh, 
this shoe right here, I have a skinnier foot, okay? So obviously when the shoe's in here, it, it, I feel like this shoe would be really good for people with wider foot because uh, there is a little bit more room in the midfoot uh, for me, for my pleasure, which uh, isn't a big deal breaker. Um, I, this is just a tip that I've always done. I always wear two socks whenever I'm wearing cleats in football uh, just to eliminate uh, you know, blisters. And then I just feel, I, for some reason, I don't know, I've just always done it. So it's kind of a comfort thing for me, and, and you know some people don't like to wear hardly anything, you know, because obviously for speed reasons they want to be as fast as possible. Well, I always wear two socks with my cleats, um, so that helps kind of take up that that space right there. But if you do have a skinny foot, this may not be the shoe for you. If you're wearing like one sock and you really want that tight grab grip uh, from the shoe, okay. So there's a little bit of room, like I said, in the midfoot. But other than that, uh, as far as putting the foot in. Uh, it's fantastic. The shoe feels good. You know, moving on down as far as the comfort and the cushion, they actually added the Lunarlin, um, the running midsole cushioning, okay, that you would see on the running shoes from the Nike uh, or Jordan Brands shoes, style shoes, okay, which is a, I mean, it's been around for a while. It's a, it's a very effective uh, plush uh, cushion, okay, so it does a really good job. Um, obviously, you got to make sure that you guys, uh, Limit your expectations a little bit though because with the football cleat, they have to add the TPU, the bottom plate for cleats, okay? So normally in running shoes, you're gonna have a bigger midsole, uh, which provides a lot more cushion. This, it's, it's a lot smaller, okay? But you can still feel a little bit of the cushion. I have put them on, like I said, and walked around with them uh, and kind of jogged a little bit with them on. Uh, you can definitely feel a little bit of that cushion, but not as much as you would feel it uh, with the running shoe, which is, you know, like I said, uh, it's going to be, you know, a little different. This is a football cleat. Okay. So, uh, but it's pretty dope that they put that on there because like I said, you can feel a little bit of that cushion. It's kind of lightweight and it's nice. It's, it's for a cleat. Um, they did a good job with that. All right. And then moving on down, obviously that TPU plate right there with the cleat. Okay. Dope, man. I really do like it. It's an, it's aggressive, uh, concept man okay you have their molded cleats you know, back in the day when I was in high school you'd have the screwing cleats I don't even know if they make those anymore I don't really see them anymore because like I said everyone's trying to obviously lighten up the load on your feet it's all about speed okay you want to be as fast as possible so people have been going to molded um, however these are extremely aggressive I mean they have like these teeth down the middle okay and I'll give you guys obviously a close-up on these but uh, they have the teeth on the outside too um, so it's going to provide for a lot of lateral traction as well as you know your linear linear movements uh, on the field. Okay, uh, I don't have I don't <clears throat> I can't see an issue of having any type of uh, uh, you know slipping or not being able to traction in these things. Okay, so with the sizing, uh, they were true to size for me. You know I, I wear size 12. I you know with two socks it's a little bit snug. However, I know they're going to loosen up as I wear them. If you don't really want to do that, but you still like to wear two socks, you could go a half size up on these. So, and then price point, I believe is 120. Uh, I mean, you can jump on, like I said, East Bay, uh, Nike.com. You can find them, you know, there. Usually East Bay, like I said, man, if you really pay attention, East Bay, they're on it as far as deals, man. And I'm not trying to sell East Bay, but dude, if you're on there, you got to check on there all the time. Sometimes they'll have 20% discounts. Uh, if you order something over 99 bucks, you know, so for example, these right here, obviously you have to check to see because some items are excluded. I don't think these are excluded. So if you put a 20% discount on, you know, 120, what's that? 24 bucks. So I mean, you're right at a hundred dollars right here for these shoes. Okay. And I think in my opinion for a hundred bucks, these shoes are pretty uh, clean as far as the style. Um, like I said, the only thing that I would knock on the shoes, it's, I feel like it might be better built for somebody with a, a wider foot. Okay. My foot's a little skinny, but uh, you know, 100 bucks all day in and out, man. I'm grabbing these up, especially when you see shoes cleats that nowadays, you know, run 150 bucks. Uh, so, and for the look, I think it's second to none. I mean, this shoe right here, if you're a basketball guy like I am, I love basketball shoes. And when I grew up, you know, Jordan was the guy. Patent leathers are huge, man. This is dope, man. It's a game changer in my opinion when you get on the field and you're rocking some patent leathers. Ain't nobody on that status right there. That shine game, check that thing out, just blinging, dude. When the lights are on you, man, you just run in the end zone, doing it, killing it, okay? And I had to rep the big M, go blue, man, with the college season coming around the corners, man. I'm all about it, man, I'm in it. Go get it, Harbaugh, I love you guys, blue, boom. 
I don't normally do this, but when I do, I should, I should review. review.